I'm often asked as a martial arts instructor, what can I or what can my child work on? And a good answer to that question is always fitness. See, in the martial arts, our bodies are our vehicles. And your vehicle, if it's a golf cart, cannot win a race against a Ferrari, if you know what I mean. If you think of learning the techniques of martial arts, learning the concepts of martial arts is like learning how to drive a car as the driver. Well, that's great and that's important and you need that to win a race, but you also need a fast car. And your body in this analogy is the car. So what do you need to do martial arts? Well, you need to be strong, you need to be flexible, and you need to have endurance. Now, in our culture, we tend to have an all or nothing attitude sometimes. And let me tell you, it's okay to not want to be the best at something, to not want to be an elite athlete. That's okay. But if you want to be better than you personally were the day before, then it's good to work on your fitness. And here's the thing, it doesn't mean making a life that you hate for yourself. Let's say you're not doing any exercise outside of your martial arts classes. So you come twice a week and maybe you're doing two 45 minute classes a week. And that's a really good start. But you really should have more exercise than that within your week. But maybe you just don't really like to exercise. Well, can you take a 20 minute walk on the days that you're not coming in for classes? Is that something you realistically will get up and do? So you don't have to go to the gym for an hour and a half. You can do that 20 minute walk and you might think, well, what's the point of doing the 20 minute walk? What I really should be doing is going to the gym and pumping iron for an hour and a half. But the thing is, you'll be much better off having done that 20 minute walk than nothing at all. Likewise with strength training, you don't have to do that hour and a half of weightlifting in the gym. I don't do that, but maybe you have some time in the day you can do push-ups here and there, and maybe you get 100 push-ups throughout the day. Something that simple can go a long way in increasing your strength. Does it make you an elite athlete? It does not. Does it make it better than you were the day before? Absolutely, and ultimately, it's good for your health which improves the quality of your life. And to have high quality of life, you do not need to be an elite, uh, elite level athlete. In fact, many times elite level athletes suffer from sport related injuries because they're just pushing their body to the edge all the time. They are redlining their bodies and they'll suffer the consequences and they can't, sometimes they, they are not able to maintain that pace for long and they end up, end up in a bad place as they begin to age. So uh, at, for most of us, average people, we're not looking to become professional fighters in the case of martial arts. Find little things you can do throughout the day that make you a little bit stronger, a little bit more flexible. Maybe you have a little bit more endurance. Do you have a heavy bag in your house? Well, if you get up early and you think, gosh, I can't, uh, can't just summon up the energy to do a, an hour workout on that heavy bag, well, give it 10 kicks on each leg. That's better than nothing. It may seem like you're not doing anything, but remember something is always better than nothing. And often when you start small, you'll naturally build into more and more difficult things when it comes to fitness routines. So don't feel like you have to start at the top of the mountain, start small and build yourself up over time. But remember, something is always better than nothing.